Hi, this is Willie Vega for That Guitar Show, and this is a lesson for folks who are just starting to play. Um, for the absolute beginner, you might want to go back to my lesson one for absolute beginners. This lesson is for someone who's just starting to get on with scales and soloing, okay? And uh, it's something that's going to help you, hopefully, um, get less frustrated with your own playing which happens a lot at the beginning. Okay, now most guitar players when they're first learning, the first thing they learn as far as scales go is the pentatonic scale. And this one here is rooted off the, off the uh, fifth fret on the low E string. Okay, and when you first learn the scales, your inclination is just to um, to play them straight. It kind of gets boring and it's uh, it's not fun and you're going to get frustrated. So I'm going to give you a few tips on how to make things a little bit more interesting. And if you keep these things in mind, hopefully you'll get out of that rut and you'll this will take you through. Uh, through a few years of playing, uh, you'll you'll take these ideas with you. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, first of all, let's start with vibrato. Okay. Let's just take any note in this scale. Okay. Let's let's take this note. Okay. On the B string, fifth fret. I'm gonna play the scale, but I'm gonna stop on that note and I'm gonna vibrato it for a minute. See how it just brings it to life? And you could vibrato any note, really, you know? That's just two notes. And what I just did there was another another device that you can use to help you with your soloing. It's a slide, just a simple slide. Okay, this is the note. Okay, it happens to be a root note in the key of A. And what I did was I just slid from a whole step below and into the note. And you can use more than one finger to help you vibrato. Um, at first, this will probably be, be something that you need to do, is have support fingers. This is the note we're going to vibrato, but we're going to have support from these guys. Okay? And that, you know, that goes with all the other notes. You can... Doing it with one finger is going to be kind of tricky. Doing it with more than one finger is a lot easier. There's also sliding out. Let's do the whole scale sliding from one note to the other, okay? See how that works? All right. Another little technique, um, which is actually it's a big technique, is bending notes. Okay. So so far we have vibrato. We have sliding into notes, and um, and we have bending. See what I'm doing here? Is I'm taking this note on the B string on the eighth fret and I'm bending it to the point where it sounds like this note. 
which is a root note. See what I mean? I can play both notes while slot while bending this one to reach the uh, to reach that note. And as as I do that, little by little, it starts getting less dissonant. And you can do that with uh, with any of these. Let's do it with this one here. While pressing down on the fifth string, the B string, on that note there, I'm going to bend this guy into it. So now I'm using all those techniques and it's making things a lot more interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry about the clunkers there. But you get the idea. Um, so now we have those devices. We have vibrato. We have sliding into notes. We have bending. And sometimes you want to keep it simple. You don't want to go crazy. You know, uh, sometimes when you're playing a tune uh, or soloing it over a tune, a chord progression, or whatever, playing along with the radio, just keep it simple at first, you know? Remember rhythm. So hopefully this will get you started um, to uh, in, in on a path that where you're not sounding sterile when you're playing your pentatonic scale or whatever the other scale you're playing. It works for any scale. If you're playing, a, say, a minor. See, I just played a minor scale there and employed all those devices. The vibrato, the slides and the bends. <laughs>